features on our must-have list when we designed this house, and vaulted ceilings with wood beams were one of them. But we had to be selective on where to use them, so we decided they'd have the most impact in the living room and master bedroom. My rule of thumb when it comes to wood beams is that they should be similar to the tones of the other woods in your home, like your floors. I found these beautiful wire-brushed French oak planks at Lowe's, so I just needed to find coordinating beams. The tricky part with these floors is that there's a lot of color variation, so I knew it would be a challenge to find something with the same look. I reached out to my friends at Ikenna Millwork, who I've worked with on a few other molding and trim projects. They have a huge selection of architectural moldings and specialize in lightweight and durethane, which looks authentic, but they're easier to work with, cost-effective, and maintenance-free. Real wood beams are more expensive and more work to install, so I knew that faux beams would be our best option. These are made of urethane and they're light as foam. You can customize them in any height, width, and length to fit your space. I decided to go with 6 inches wide by 10 inches tall and run them horizontally rather than attach directly to the ceiling. After deciding on the size, Ikenna sent me samples of their color and wood texture options. As with matching the floor color, I like to keep the wood texture consistent so they feel cohesive, like the beams are structural and part of the house. I thought the rough sawn matched the brush texture of our floors the best, and I love the light rustic look. As for the color, the whitewashed sample was definitely the closest match, and I knew I could add my own stain to customize it even more. I ordered four three-sided beams for each room, in 12-foot lengths for the living room and 8-foot for the master bedroom. Within a few weeks, the beams were custom-made and delivered right to our door. Now it was time to color them. I brushed on a light brown wax, which brought out the detail of the grain and matched the floors really nicely. If too much was applied, I was able to easily wipe it off and start over. Pretty soon I found my rhythm and had all eight beams stained. Then it was time for the install. Rather than have the beams follow the ceiling lines, I love the idea of running them horizontally with our vaulted ceilings. Since the beams are hollow and lightweight, wood blocks secured to the ceiling are all that's needed for support. You do have to make sure those are either attached to the studs or use heavy duty toggle bolts if there are no stud locations. We used 1x4s for the supports and once they were attached to the ceiling, the ends of the beams were cut at an angle slid into place, and secured with finish nails. Our new beams completely transform the rooms and add just the right amount of rustic character. The wood grain texture and coloring look so realistic and like they were always part of the house. And they're the perfect way to incorporate classic European influence into our home. You can find out more about the beams I used in the blog post in the description linked below or check out ikenamillwork.com to see all the options they offer.